Good morning, Mark Williams, MWPersonalTrainer.com. Today we're going to talk about diet killers, and the next one on the spectrum is catabolism. So catabolism is the state that your body goes into to break down muscle to use as amino acids. It will generally do this in order to supplement the diet if there's a shortfall and it is not getting the calories that it requires. Now, as I've previously stated, muscle is metabolism. Now you cannot afford to lose any muscle on a diet. Sure, if you have big amounts of fat to lose, then that may coincide with some muscle, but you have to do everything you can to preserve the muscle that you already have and do everything that you can to maybe build a little bit more if you're looking for that lean tone physique that you want to achieve. Remember, muscle is metabolism. Don't ever get away from it. It burns energy, it prevents the buildup of fat by burning calories. And if you wanna look great on your diet or at the end of your diet, muscle is key. You can't afford to let it slip away. All right, as we know, when most people go into a diet, they're going out with the intention of losing weight. But they don't really care about losing weight, okay? What they're going into it for is emotional aspects, to look better and to feel better. Losing weight is just what has become the norm for associating with going on a diet, to lose weight. But the emotional connection with that is you want to look better and you want to feel better. No one will ever really care if they still weigh the same as what they did six weeks ago, if they look better, because no one is ever gonna come up to you and say, oh my God, you look great. And you're not gonna reply, yeah, but I'm still nine stone. Because no one really cares. Weight is not important in this. It's how you look and it's how you feel. Now, that being said, if, if we accept that, then you need to preserve the muscle that you have because muscle is your key to looking better and feeling better. I mean, if you're happy to go out and just look like you did six weeks earlier, but be eight stone rather than nine, then great. Go on a diet, lose a whole bunch of muscle, lose a whole bunch of water, and you, you, you'll be some way to achieving that. You, you will weigh lighter, but you will look just as unappealing to yourself, and it's not really what you're setting out for. If you want that lean toned athletic physique, then muscle is key and you need to hang on to it. At any point that you're losing muscle, you are just downgrading your engine size, okay? And a reduced engine size means less muscle, less calories burned, less calorie deficit at the end of every week, and less fat loss. So there you have it in a nutshell. That is why your muscle is important, and that is why you need to not only hang on to it, stimulate it, try and increase that mass slightly so that you burn even more fuel at a quicker rate of knots. Remember, the two key areas that you're looking at to preserve your muscle mass are as follows. Bringing in resistance training, okay, it's really important. Not only does it help to stimulate the muscle that you have to burn the stored fuel that you already have, it helps to promote a little bit of growth in those muscles, helping you to achieve that leaner, more toned look. And secondly, your metabolism reset day, okay, that is so important as well because remember, every time you enter into a reduced calorie intake, okay, your body's hormone levels are adjusting. So once you hit that plateau, if you don't reset, then you will bring on the effects of catabolism through the next few weeks and you will start losing muscle and you will start losing water. If you found the video useful, please subscribe, okay? Look out for the next videos that will be coming up in the next few weeks. I'll be showing you how to piece your weeks together, uh, how to put your meals together, what you need to do, and everything you need to know to burn more fat. Okay, so that's it for now. Look out for the upcoming episodes, okay? We'll be going into all of this in greater depth, giving you more information on how to piece your weeks together. If you need any help, just DM me at mwpersonaltrainer.com. Dot com. All right, good luck, keep going. See you in the next episode. If you found it useful, please subscribe, okay? Uh, and I'll get as much information out there for you that you can hopefully follow along and make big improvements in your plans. Okay, have a good day. Mark Williams, mwpersonaltrainer.com. Thanks very much.